Good morning, friends. Welcome to Thursday, April 2nd, stay for word study. Let's jump right in. Oh, just to remind you, pencil and paper are the two things you need. We're practicing getting ready to submit our scratch paper on Seesaw. So you should definitely, um, if you want, you can upload a photo of this, um, of your work to Seesaw, but we'll be starting to do that for real on Monday. Okay. Where did it 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 today's word of the day is essential see if you can figure it out based on the context in the sentence it is essential that you know the alphabet if you want to learn how to read what could essential mean based on that go ahead write it down It is essential that you know the alphabet if you want to learn how to read. All right, you should have your best guess written down. Essential means absolutely necessary or extremely important. Important. So if something is essential, then it's critical. Like you have to have it. If your dad says it's essential that you pick up milk so I can make these cookies, then it is critical. It is the most important thing that you pick it up. If your teacher says it's essential that you don't forget this, it is super, super important and necessary that you remember it. Okay, we'll come back to essential later. So yesterday we learned about adjectives and adjectives are words that describe nouns. So adjectives can use the way things look and smell and taste and all the different senses to, um, to just help describe nouns, but they can also describe people's feelings and personalities. For example, I could say this shirt is blue and yellow and cozy and warm and comfortable and homemade. And I can also say I feel tired and happy and I am patient and I am excited and all these other different things that are either traits that are true about me or feelings, things that can change. So today, we are going to combine what we know about nouns, verbs, and adjectives to use them in a sentence. This is really exciting because it's like we've learned all these different things and then we're gonna combine them together and see um, if we can understand them, not just isolated, but in a group. Okay, so we're gonna review. A noun is a person, place, thing, or idea. A verb is an action word or something that is always, um, or a describing word like is. For example, I am, or he is a teacher. And then an adjective is a word that describes a noun. So I'm gonna do it first. Remember our job today is just to identify nouns, verbs, and adjectives. And we call those parts of speech because there are different parts of the things that you say. Okay. My blue sweatshirt is itchy. Now, I know that a noun is a person, place, thing, or idea. The noun, excuse me, in this sentence is sweatshirt. Blue is the word that is describing the noun. So that is the adjective. And the action word is is because it tells us something true. And remember, a verb can either be an action word or a describing word like is or has. Okay, so we are going to work on identifying all these different things. You are going to write numbers 1 through 10 on your paper. So take a second to do that now. For example, write 1, line, 2, line. You're not going to need to rewrite the full sentences, just a couple words. Go ahead. Okay, so you should have um, words one through 10 written on your paper now. Okay, we're going to try and find the different nouns and verbs in these sentences. Miss Cashin ate hot soup. Miss Cashin ate hot soup. 
Can you identify the people, places, or things in the sentence? So you should write down N and then the word that you think is the noun, V and the word that you think next to the word you think is a verb, and then A next to the word you think is an adjective. Give another five seconds to figure this out. Okay, you should have your best guess written down now. I am going to highlight them and I will highlight the nouns in orange and the verbs in blue. And then the adjectives will be green. Okie doke. So, and they might be a little different shades. Sorry about that. All right. So I know that the person in this sentence is obviously Miss Cashin. So I highlighted Miss Cashin with orange because I know that I am a person. Now I want to show you another word, soup, at the end of this sentence. Soup is not a person, but is soup a thing? Yes, it is. So this sentence has two nouns, and a lot of sentences have more than one noun or verb or even an adjective. So you need to pay close attention and make sure that even though you found one, you haven't missed another. Eight is the verb, because what am I doing? I am literally eating. And then what kind of soup? It's hot soup. So I know that hot must be the adjective. Okay, take a second to make sure that that makes sense in your brain. And we're going to jump in to the next one. Okay, I like spicy barbecue. Remember, on your paper, you're writing an N next to the word that you think is the noun, a V next to the word you think is a verb, and an A next to the word that you think is an adjective. I'll give you five more seconds. I like spicy barbecue. On your paper, it should look something like this. N, I, V, like a spicy barbecue and I know that I am a person so this I is a noun because it's talking about me I like what am I doing I am liking something so like is a verb and then spicy is a describing word and words that describe nouns are Adjectives, spicy, sorry, I color coded wrong. And then how about barbecue? Barbecue is not a person and it's not a place, but is it a thing? Yes, it is. So barbecue is going to be a noun as well. Jacob wore his most comfy pants. Take a second to write yours down. Jacob wore his most comfy pants. All right, well, the first one's pretty easy. It's a person. I know people are always nouns because a noun is a person, place, a thing, or idea. Now, what is Jacob doing? He is wearing. So, wore is actually our verb. Now, we get to two little bit tricky words here his and most. Are any of those describing words? No. Are any of them action words? No. Are they things or ideas? 
No. So there are actually parts of speech we haven't learned yet. We are going to ignore them and move on because we're not identifying them today. Comfy is an adjective because it's describing those pants. And then pants, you guessed it, they're a second noun. All right, the donuts are brown. Go ahead, write them down. Write it down in paper. The donuts are brown. What thing are we talking about in this sentence? The donuts. So donuts is our noun. Do I need to highlight the? Nope. That is just a helping word in the sentence. What is true about the donuts? They are brown. Because remember, verbs can be action words, but they can also be words that tell us about something and using is or are or has. Brown is a word that describes donuts. And if it's a word that describes a noun, it must be an adjective. All right, let's move on. Mr. Gilbert's hat, cute kids. Mr. Gilbert's has cute kids. Write down the words, write down the parts of speech. Who is this sentence about? It's about Mr. Gilbert. Sorry, Mr. Gilbert, not Gilbert. Mr. Gilbert has cute kids. What is true about him? He has cute kids. So has is our action word because it tells us something about his kids. Now, how about the word cute? What word is cute talking about? I'm talking about Mr. Gilbert, I'm not talking about has. It's talking about the kids, but it's a word that describes a noun, so I know it must be an adjective. Cute kids. Kids, are they people? Yep, so that's a second noun in this sentence. My dog has brown fur. Write it down. My dog has brown fur. All right, is my an adjective, noun, or verb? Nope, so I'm just gonna skip it. It's a part of speech we haven't ignored it about yet. My dog, that's a thing, or an animal or a person, however you wanna speak about it, has, that's something true about my dog. Brown, that's a describing word that talks about the fur. And fur, fur is another thing, so I know that it's a noun. But it's talking about something, a uh, person, place, or thing. My teacher has a big hole. No, there's a word there that we're not going to need to color code or not going to need to label. Think about what that might already be. My teacher has a big hole. Well, that's a th my t-shirt is what the entire sentence is about. It's a thing, so I know that it's a noun. Has a word that describes or shows that I own something. So that is our action word. That's our verb. A. Do I need to do anything with A? Nope. What is the word big describing? It's describing whole. And a whole is another noun. So I know big. Oops, sorry. Big must be an adjective. All right, guys, you're doing great. Almost done. Boston is a huge city. Not really true, but that's okay. Boston is a huge city. Now, usually when I'm going through these, I'll show you what I do out loud. I say, okay, what is this about? It's about Boston. Is Boston a person, place, or thing? Yep, because usually with sentences, it does start with a noun. Boston is. Is it talking about something true about the Boston? Yep, so is must be the verb. A, don't need to worry about that right now. Huge, huge sounds like a describing word. What is it describing? It's describing a city. Huge 
is an adjective and it describes a city, a city, another noun because it's again a person, place, thing, or idea. Go ahead and do the last two on your own and then we'll check them together. All right, let's jump into people, like red, bikes. That's easy. It's a person, place, or thing. That's a person right there. Like. Like shows an action, because you, you can like something. Red, that's a describing word. And red describes bikes. And bikes are another... Oops, let me take that right. So bikes are our second noun. And for our last one, Orion eats crunchy chips. Orion is a person. What is he doing? He eats crunchy is a word that describes a noun. So it's an adjective and the word that it describes is chips. All right. So just to review, today we combined what we knew about nouns, which are it was a person, place, thing, or idea, or an animal, with verbs, which is an action word or a word that describes something true. And we also added in adjectives, and adjectives are words that describe nouns. And we're able to identify them in all of our sentences. We also know that sometimes we're going to get word to words that we have not learned what part of the speech there right now, and for now we're just going to skip them. All right. We are going to, excuse me, move forward to contractions. We already talked about three different types of contractions, which are word sandwiches. The ones we talked about are not, am, and is. So the second word of the contraction is going to be not, am, or is. I want you to take a second to come up with a sentence for each of them. So you should draw a line on your paper to separate your past work from this part. And then write one, two, and three. One sentence for each has to include a word sandwich. Three sentences, I'll give you a couple more seconds. All right. The first contraction I asked you to come up with was not. So I'm going to think in my head, what was a contraction that ended in not? Well, I know can, not, can, would, not, wouldn't, will, not, won't. I like that one because that's a tricky one. I won't wake up early on Saturday. The second contraction is am. Let's think of the different words that am can be paired with. I am, I'm. Maybe it. I'm feeling hungry. That's definitely true. Number three is it's. She is, she's. He is, he's. It is, it's. Already raining outside. All right. Remember, contractions are word sandwiches. You smush two of them together to come up with a new, speedier way to say something. Whatever letter is eaten in the word sandwich goes into the apostrophe, and that's how we know where the apostrophe goes. Okay, today we're learning two different types of new contractions, are and will. Um, you guys probably know these, um, and this is a review, but it's a good reminder of how to spell them. They 
are there. Now, the spelling here is critically important. It is essential. Remember, essential is our word of the day. It means absolutely necessary and extremely important. There is spelled they apostrophe R E because that apostrophe eats up the A. So if you see the word there that's spelled like that, it means they are there. Different types of the word there. Tom phone. We'll talk about it tomorrow. But they are there is always going to have an apostrophe and it's always going to be spelled like this. They're coming to my house. We will becomes wheel. We will wheel. We'll have fun. She will. What do you think that becomes? She will. She'll. She'll study hard. Now, notice that for the will contractions, the apostrophe eats the W and the I, and it just it ends in LL. So based on what, what we just talked about here, how do you think he will will end? She will, she'll, we will, we'll, he will, he'll do his best. And the last one we're coming up with is we are. We are, we're. We're all together now. We're. So they are there. Very important that you remember that they apostrophe already means they are. We will, we'll. She will, she'll. He will, he'll. We are, we're. You should have all those written down. So take a second to finish up writing down the new contractions we just learned before you do your dictation sentence. These are pretty straightforward. Um, you just need to be adding them to your arsenal. It's like your, the list of things in your brain that you remember. Finish up writing them down, your new contractions of the day. All right, now draw a line at the bottom of your paper. It is time for dictation. All right, get ready. I can't be sure I won because it was close. I can't be sure I won because it was close. I can't be sure I won because it was close. All right, go ahead and check your work. I can't, that's a new contraction, cannot, can't. Be sure I won, that's W-O-N, not the number one, because it was close. Check your own work, give yourself a big check mark if you got it right. All right, now draw another line in your paper. This is your exit ticket. You have to come up with three sentences on your own using your two new contractions that end in are and will. I'll scroll back up so you can remember what those are. They are there, we will wheel, she will shield, he will heal, we are we're. And you have to come up with three new sentences and include them. And now, then you have to write three sentences that have a labeled noun, verb, and adjective. Remember, that's what we did up here. A noun is a the thing, like a person, place, or thing. An adjective is a word that describes a noun, and, and a verb is an action word. All right, so you can pause the video, and I will post this on Seesaw so you know where to put your work. Thanks, team.